My connection to the outdoors, I think really took off when I had small children. I wanted them to experience fishing. I wanted them to experience the outdoors, the, the forest, the rainforest. I wanted them to experience all of those things. And I wanted them to see things that I didn't see when I was younger, but I always had a yearning, like my soul calling to be out in nature and to experience nature. Our Oregon rivers are so magical and special. I really came to love them living here. I grew up in Lincoln, Nebraska. I was born in Eugene, Oregon, and grew up in Lincoln, Nebraska, and there's tons of lakes. We would go out on the canoes, we would fish, and I had a level of trepidation with the water until I really learned how to swim, and just, it was, one of the most incredible things to be able to just glide across the water. It wakes up your senses in a really different way. And so coming out to Oregon, when I moved here to Newburgh from um, Lincoln, Nebraska, being able to see so many different bodies of water, being able to see the ocean, being able to see the rivers, being able to see the lakes and the streams, and it was, there's something about that world that's very, very different. And it's, it's untouched in a way, I feel like. We're very kind of terrestrial beings and we think about land and water as these two completely separate things when they really do work in harmony with one another. You know, for us to assume that this will always be here is, is not, you know, that's it's an awful cavalier assumption because you know, we as, we as humans, we're here for a tiny little speck on this planet for a certain amount of time. And you know, how much impact, how much real impact can we have uh, in our time, but also how can we share that with our future generations?